Hi and good morning. Today is the 6th of June and it's 2021 and we are doing very well with our list here. Arise and shine in your calling and then gain some courage in doing so. Commit to that calling and then look for the opportunities to do that. And on top of that, uh, network with other people and then also <laughs> bear with one another, inspire one another and continue to learn. I hope I haven't missed any letters, but if I have, there we go, are the words that we have covered so far. And today we are looking at another I, and this time round we are investing, investing, investing in one another, investing in ourselves. You know, I love God and I love the way his word teaches me day by day. God invested in me when he created me, when he created you, God invested in you. He invested his love in you. He invested his everything that he has created for you to use for your own growth. You know, he has given us everything we need for this life. God invested his potential in you so that it can be exercised here in the world. And once he has invested something in you, we also need to invest in other people. Remember, in the spiritual sense, Jesus taught his disciples. And after he had taught his disciples, he, tell, he told them now it's time to go. So he invested in them. He gave them the power to go. He even sent the Holy Spirit to come and help them in the ministry. That's a powerful way to think about it. And today, even in the physical sense, you know, we invest in ourselves. We eat food to keep healthy. We exercise to stay healthy. We invest time in ourselves so that we can continue to grow. In the same way, we invest time in the physical sense, in the relationships that we have with others. We invest love in other people's lives so that we can continue binding ourselves together. In other aspects of areas, you know, in the commercial world, the business area, people invest their money, they invest their time, they invest their skills and talents so that they can grow that business. The same efforts should be put in our emotional lives, you know. The more you invest in calming yourself, the more you invest in calming others, the more you invest in doing the things that are of God. You know, love is the greatest weapon. Love is the greatest weapon. Therefore, Let's continue investing that very love that God has invested us and let's invest it in ourselves so that we have something to give. You know, we cannot give what we do not have. So receive love from God and therefore give love. So today I'm talking about investment. So in arising and shining in all these other areas, we are doing investment as we continue to learn how to do it. Yesterday, I was talking about learning. Have a wonderful day as you invest the goodness of God by receiving it, by giving it, by receiving love, by loving others. And you must start loving yourself as well. God bless you and have a wonderful, blessed day.